In today's video, I'll be showing you four minimal nail designs that look really cool but are super easy to do. First up, we have this half and half black and white design. For this, you will need some wide striping tape or you can use several pieces of regular striping tape or you can cut your own. Lay a piece of the tape down the center of each nail and secure it. Then start filling in the sides. I used a black polish on the left side and a white polish on the right. And while the polish is still wet, carefully remove the tape to reveal a clean cutout center. Clean up your cuticles with a brush dipped in nail polish remover, and if you have any uneven lines, you can also use the brush to correct that as well. Seal in your design with a top coat, and that's it! I like how the light and dark colors look when you shift your nails, but you can also swap these out for colors that you like. Up next, I'll show you my favorite way to add pizzazz to a plain manicure. Start with your plain base color. I'll be using a dusty rose color from Wet n Wild. Apply as many coats as you need, then let your mani dry completely. Next, I'll be using some black striping tape and carefully laying the piece of tape down the center of the nail, making sure it's straight. Then leave the edge lifted a little bit and snip it with some scissors to cut it flush with the nail. It's better to cut it too short than have a little sticking over the edge after you top coat because that's gonna cause lifting. Give the tape a good press down to secure it and finish off with a top coat to lock it in. I like to use a matte top coat because I think it gives it a cool modern finish. Moving along, next is this diagonal stripes design. For this, you will need a good stain hiding base coat since you'll be seeing a lot of your natural nail. After that completely dried, I took some more wide striping tape and taped off my nails diagonally in half. Then using a white striping polish, I started making horizontal lines on one side of the tape. Don't worry if your lines aren't super straight or even, it's supposed to look hand drawn. Plus the striping tape is going to be your guide for a nice clean angled edge. If you do have any lines that are too messy for your liking, you can just use a long detail brush dipped in remover to rub away the messy edge. Then just remove the tape and apply a top coat. And lastly, we have a triangle cutout design with some frame decor. To get started, take some plain scotch tape and cut out triangles, then place them on the center of your nail pointing towards the tip. Once the tape is secure, grab a polish of your choice and fill in the exposed nail. I like to do this design one nail at a time so I'm able to remove the tape while the polish is still wet. If you have any weird lines after you remove the tape, you can fix it up with a brush and the polish. After that, I'll be applying top coat, then adding these thin black triangles over the point of the cutout. And I never realized it, but these look like pencils. Change your base color to yellow, and this is a perfect back to school design. Finish with one more layer of top coat to lock everything in, and you're done. If you enjoyed this style of video, let me know by leaving me a thumbs up and if you want to see a part 2, comment down below. And if you liked this tutorial, I think you might like this minimal Japanese inspired nail art I did and you can just click on the screen here to watch it.